for our demo site in this course, we're using a vanilla Joomla 3 installation. And the only things I've done is I've added JCE and I'm using the mobile profile because I just really like it. And I've added the Breeze template from OS Training. You can download that for free and the link is in the session notes below. And that way you just get this. It's pretty much vanilla. I've named mine OST Hikashop Demo 2014 and I've turned on the Install from Web button. So that's all there is. You'll need to have some kind of Joomla 3 site ready to go in order to follow along with these videos. You can use MAMP or WAMP or if you've got a Joomla installation somewhere that you can play with. Of course, as always, I don't recommend you actually do this on a live site. Here in the extension manager, I can just search for Hikashop and click on the logo. You'll notice 79 votes, five star rating, last updated March 28th, 2014, as of this recording, 188 reviews, and you should go and take a look at them. They're very, very positive, as well as it's a component, module, and plugin. When I click install and install, it's going to go download it and set it up for me. And here we are. The first time you install Hikashop, you're asked what kind of setup do you really want? So the number one, select how you want to access the pages. Do you want to have a menu item for products, a menu item for categories, or a list of categories in a module? And again, it doesn't really matter what you choose here because you can always edit it later as well as add other things later. It's just a quick little setup. So I'm going to say a menu item for products. The second question they ask is, what kind of layout display do you want? Do you want a grid, a list, or a table? I'm going to stick with grid because I kind of like that. And what's my default location? Well, my default location is the United States. And I live in the amazing state of Indiana. Steve lives in Georgia. And I'm going to leave that blank because you really don't need to know where I live. <laughs> the main parameters for my shopping cart then, US dollars. Feel free to choose whatever you want there. If you live in a country with GST or a VAT, just put the tax name in there and the percentage. If you have a PayPal address and you want to automatically set this up, you can put your email in there. And generally speaking, what kind of products are you going to sell? You have virtual goods, shippable goods, or both. Well, I'm going to select both. Save and go create your first product. And that's a really nice little starter configuration that comes with Hikashop. You don't have to do that, but again, it just gives you that quick setup. Well, and that's all you've got to do to get your shop started. In the next session, we'll dive into configuration in detail.